Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about Anglo-Saxon period and as I am doing this random series from English literature, it will be helpful as a test for you. So give your views on comment box. So let's see this one. Uh, first of all, I have written some names here and you need to go through these names now. The Jutes, Angles and Sections. So those were tribes in Anglo-Saxon periods. And later we can say Anglo-Saxon poetry was Beowulf. So that was the old poetry was written at that time. And we don't know who wrote it. And even we didn't uh, didn't have any idea ki inka naam means is work ka naam kya tha. Uh, but we put the name Beowulf as the hero's name was Beowulf in that. Now Cadman, the first maker of English words. And he wrote Cadman's paraphrases. Cinewulf, the Fates, the Apostle, Allen. Ye Cinewulf ne likha tha. Ye poet hain us time ke. Ab baat karte hain Chaucer ki A's ki. Chaucer ki jo A's hai usme, ya hum kahe, sorry. Chaucer ne in teen kings ke time pe work kiya tha. तो अगर आपको शॉर्टकट में याद रखना है तो ई आर एच आप याद रख सकते हैं एडवर्ड थर्ड रिचर्ड सेकंड एंड हेनरी फोर्थ सो रिमेंबर इन दिस वे एंड दिस वाज अबाउट 10 इयर्स एडवर्ड थर्ड नाउ हियर सम मोर डेट्स आर हियर सो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर देम इफ यू आर लर्निंग एज ऑफ चौसर एंग्लो सेक्शन पीरियड बिफोर एंग्लो सेक्शन पीरियड सॉरी बिफोर चौसर सीज ऑल राइट 1066 it was norman conquest this is very important and uh, 1338 the 100 years war and 1348 to 49 black death jo ki ek tarah ka plague tha aur ye reappear hua tha 1362 1367 and 1370 mein sometimes it is asked in exam Peasant's Revolt, it was 1381. So, if you have to remember this, what do you remember? You will say that 81 Peasant's revolted against someone. Okay? 81 Peasant's revolted against someone. Now, let's come to this one. Wycliffe, the morning star of Re Reformation. Wycliffe is called the morning star of Reformation. Petrarch and Boccaccio, you have to say that work dekhenge whether it is Shakespeare and other writers jo ki in dono writers ki upar dependent hote the means unhone yahan se motivation liya tha to inki aap uh, date of uh, years yaad rakh sakte ho 1304 to 74 tak rahe aur Boccaccio rahe 1313 se 75 tak poetry in Chaucer is agar hum bole ki poetry kis tarah ki poetry thi to usme hame sabse jyada milti hai alliterative words alliterative poetry hame sabse jyada mili and uh, second was it was influenced by french writers and uh, french works third is modernization in language Chaucer ki jo is hai usme se shuru ho gaya tha modernization of language kyunki pehle chal rahi thi old english fir uske baad dheere dheere usme improvement hua aur fir usme hua modernization aur fir hamare paas jo aaj modern english hai wo hai geoffrey chaucer ke bare mein baat karte hain simply 1340 to 1400 iske beech mein rahe he was born on 1340 and his father name was john chaucer journey to italy and uh, affected poetic talent okay where because he went uh, to a lot of countries for his administrative jobs he was uh, you know working with kings to kyunki wo rajaon ke sath kaam kar rahe the to kafi sari jagah gaye to jahan italy ne unhe sabse zyada unka jo poetic talent tha uske usko affect kiya and in 1400 he passed away and he is buried in poets corner remember this he is buried in poets corner now let's talk about this one three periods of poetic career of Chaucer as you can see first one is the French period the Italian period second one and the third one is the English period it means it was he was in Britain and he was affected by affected or influenced by uh, Italian uh, visit and then French so when he was in French the book of Duchess on the Dutch death of Blanchier and the Italian period dream allegory he wrote house of fame the parliament of fowls 
Trollis and Casida and the Legion of Good Women, uh, which is which is unpublished. All right. So next one is in English period, or we can say that was his. Um, uh, he wrote his uh, best work in this period. First one is the Canterbury Tales. It has twenty four tales, verse and prose. Thomas Beckel's Shrine. Okay, actually th that is information about uh, Canterbury Tales. The work twenty four tales he has written. Uh, verse plus prose. Thomas Beckett's Shrine. Me wo ja rahe the wahan par. Beech me unhe tabard in pe unhe rukna tha. And total jo the wo the twenty nine pilgrimages, including himself. Twenty third only get their turn. Two prose tales are there. Means sirf teesi log puri apni stories suna paaye. और दो जो थी उनमें से प्रोस टेल थी उनमें से अगर हम बोलेंगे कौन सी वो दो थी तो वो दो थी एक थी उसकी खुद की टेल्स ऑफ मेलिबस और सेकंड थी दार्सन्स टेल कैंटरबरी टेल्स सो हियर आर सम कैरेक्टर्स यू कैन सी एंड हियर आई हैव रिटन दीज आर कैरेक्टर्स इन दैट वर्क और लेट्स रीड फ्रॉम हियर Canterbury Tales a human comedy it is also called a human comedy Re remember this it was asked in kvs exam as well uh, chaucer was influenced by boccaccio petrarch and dante as i earlier mentioned this thing characters 29 characters in the prologue you can see the monk the priors the friars and uh, the summoner the pardoner the squire squire and the knight's son some other these are important characters and father of english and english poetry uh, is called chaucer the first english novel is considered actually that is pamela by richardson but okay troilus and cressida is not the first english novel all right richardson pamela is called uh, the first national that's why i have written here doubt that time i think i had doubt on that so if in example or uh, in in exam you have examples like this so you will choose the pamela the first national poet of england is chaucer okay hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, the short notes on different topics thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next video